uh, am I the asshole for taking back a gift from a fake baby? What's a fake baby? I don't know. <laughs> I'm nervous. What does that mean? Uh, I work at a popular clothing retailer and I enjoy my job very much. My coworkers are great. Customers are uh, bearable. Uh, but one coworker, let's call her Rhonda, has been making my work life a living hell recently. Uh, we've worked together for a couple years now and things were great. I would even say we were work friends. She invited me to her daughter's baby, baby shower last month and I agreed to go. What I didn't know was that this was not a regular baby shower. I arrived with a gift and was talking to my other coworkers that were there and we figured out none of us had met the daughter. Uh, Rhonda introduced her daughter to our little group and I congratulated her and thanked her for having us. She laughed and said something like, thank you, but I'm not pregnant yet. But it's always good to be prepared for when the time comes. I was visibly confused, which seemed to offend her. After she walked away from our group, my coworker explained that Rhonda had told her that when they arrived, that this isn't a regular baby shower, and her daughter had been feeling down because quite a few of her friends had been pregnant. I asked the friends if they knew beforehand, but they said no, and that they were confused why they were asked to buy gifts, but decided not to make a big deal about it. I asked Rhonda why she wouldn't tell us that it wasn't a baby shower for a specific baby, and she explained that the physical invitations explained it was a party for her daughter to shower her with love, quote. Well, none of us co-workers got physical invitations. I asked Rhonda if I could take back my gift, since I am not made of money, and I would prefer to get her daughter a gift when she was actually having a baby. Rhonda said that I would be it would be rude to take a gift back after giving it, and that her daughter was going through a lot and was looking forward to opening presents. I said, I'm sorry, but I can't do this. I took my gift and left. Uh, the daughter sent me angry messages over Facebook uh, and said I was a bad <laughs> course, friend to Rhonda. Facebook. I feel bad for storming off and taking back the gift if it was going to cause this much grief. Uh, also, I realized I grabbed a gift that was on top of mine that was from my coworker, and she said she wants me to bring it back to her and not give it to Rhonda and her daughter. But Rhonda found out and is threatening to go to HR if I don't return the gifts. HR? And, Where, what? what? <laughs> and that buy something it. else off the registry uh, for the suffering I have caused. Am I an asshole for taking back a gift because I was lied to? I am lost already. So a, a mother <laughs> wanted to have a baby shower for her daughter. In who, advance of the daughter being pregnant. Right. But she advertised the the party, the event as a baby shower. So people yes. presume to get you a gift reasonably for mm -hmm. your upcoming baby that did not exist. Well, here's, okay. I, I haven't been to a baby shower, I don't think. Have you? Have you been to a baby shower? I think so. What do they do? They shower babies? So. Yes, in water, in actually. Water. <laughs> no, but okay. So oh, presumably man. these gifts are for babies, right? Yeah. Well, no. I mean, like, no? It, it could also be for the mother or the parents to care for the baby. If, if anyone ever cared to invite me to a baby shower, I'm probably buying a gift that is appropriate for someone about to have a baby. Yeah. No, Why exactly. Why would some random woman want a bunch of baby gifts if she, she there's no... Well... Re she's not having a baby. I think there's a disconnect between the mother who wanted to host this party for the daughter and the daughter themselves, because the mother suggested, is it, is it Rhonda the mother? We're, we're calling her Rhonda. Rhonda yeah. the mother, <laughs> mom. She, she wanted to a shower to shower her daughter with love, like that was the quote, uh -huh. but told people it was a baby shower, I guess because just in you know this era, this day and age, a baby shower is something that people get really excited about and want to bring gifts to. If you say, I'm having a party for my daughter for no reason, then maybe people are less excited and less inclined to bring gifts. Like, it's not a birthday party. Why are we showering her Why with love? Why are we here? Is, they don't even know the daughter. Is everything okay? Like, what's going on? I mean, you, you could have a nice little surprise party for no reason for like someone you know and care about. But I wouldn't show up to a coworker's child's party for no reason. A no reason yeah. party. A no reason party? Yeah. I mean, I have no reason parties by myself all the time. Just me. You do? <laughs> what do you, <laughs> tea and paint my nails by myself. <laughs> it's a no reason party, baby. It's okay. Taco Tuesday. Anyways. Yeah. Okay. To take it seriously for a second. Uh, the <laughs> you're fact you're that taking she's... this seriously? <laughs> Yeah, probably doesn't deserve it. Because, yeah, this is pretty crazy behavior, right? And I yeah. kind of seems like there might be something more serious. It sounds like Rhonda, the mother, is a little crazy. But the mm. daughter, if she knew, I guess this is the piece of information I'm missing. If the daughter knew that her mother was going around saying 
were having a baby shower for my daughter who is not yet pregnant. Did did she know this or did she not know this and might be like very upset with that idea? Well, she did respond like, ah, ha, 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 not, not not pregnant yet. Okay, that's just weird. So like, that's like a weird are they take. just conspiring? Like so many people feel awkward. A lot of people would just feel awkward and not take the gift back. And I think people like Rhonda and her daughter are happy to go through life. Taking basically people scamming gifts. people right yeah good like, point. We, like we shouldn't underestimate that there are a lot of people who are just that shitty these people do exist yeah yeah, yeah i'm not i don't go to their parties <laughs> so the the poster certainly is not an asshole it's yeah. shocking that it's there it's being suggested that hr is having to get involved in a situation like this so if you brought a baby shower gift to a party where you thought that the the person was pregnant and that's why you were you're, you're uh -huh. bringing the gift and then it turns out they're like no i'm not actually pregnant um but i'll take your gift what do you do i i take the gift back probably do you take it back out of principle because you're like you're yes because it's not yeah. like i need that that uh bottle feeder it's not like <laughs> I, mean, I need well that. maybe you could like maybe the person <laughs> gifting it could actually have used it you could their just own take family. it back or give it to someone yeah. else but or, uh or just return it and get your money back actually taking the sort of absurd aspect of this question away when is the li at what point can you not take a gift back let's well, say i'm going to mm -hmm. a birthday party at, w at what exact moment <laughs> is that exchange happening so that i can't just walk out the door I, with a gift i think that question depends on the in the intent or the premise of the party and whether or not it was false advertising in the first place. Mm. Because if it was false advertising in so far that the party was being advertised as a baby shower for a baby that does, does not exist, I think there is no statute of limitations on taking back your gift. You can take it back at any time because the other person fucked up with false advertising. Gotcha. So it's, it's, it's the lie. Mm -hmm. it's, it's that the party is based fundamentally based on, on a, a lie. lie. Is, so if I went to a birthday party... And like halfway through the party, the guy's like, it's not my birthday. By the way, it's not my birthday. I could take it back. Yeah. But if like, okay, let's say halfway through the party, the birthday boy, it is his birthday. Okay. But he just starts, you know, saying terrible things about me and my family. Mm. And he's a jerk and we're not friends anymore. Would Can you I up leave the, the party leave? with the gift? I think <laughs> there is no clear answer that is always going to be right. I think it really depends on the situation and, and whether, how nice the gift is. How, uh, I don't know about how nice the gift is, but um, I don't know. It also depends on like, do you want the potential confrontation to come out of that? Like if it was me personally, I, if this person insulted me and I don't want to deal with them, I'm probably just going to leave that gift and go. But that's, that's me. I also understand yeah. that if someone like could have really used that money and they really feel like the person no longer deserves the gift, maybe they feel like they can take it back. It kind of depends on you, the situation, what you see for the future between yourself and the gift receiver. Mm. All right. Good answer. The context matters. It right. always does. But also, like, <laughs> don't lie about parties or fake babies. I think that's kind of the <laughs> underscoring point here. All right. That's the moral of I'm the story. I'm having a baby shower for our next cat. Right. We're not getting a cat. But I, I spun a wheel and I, it said we're going to get a new cat, Ben, in the last uh, Simply uh, Street Sunday. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.